Hello Pisces, and welcome to the Humble Sage. If you're new here, be welcome. If you're returning, thank you for supporting my channel. Either way, you're very much appreciated. Today, Pisces, we're going to be doing a next seven day tarot message. It's a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, it's for you at that time. It's a general message, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's get stuck in, Pisces. I hope you're well. First card out, the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, there you are, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and finally the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck we've got the Hermit. You know what, Pisces? Because you came out in your own reading. Look at that. Someone's definitely following their intuition. You found some key. All right. This could also be you can see how you were something here, right? There's something here about your own personal thought process that has changed. Like you've had some realization that something perhaps isn't what it is, and your own intuition was on point the entire time, which is the true power of Pisces. I mean. I mean, I, maybe I'm just less, I like working with Pisces energy. But whatever it is, now you can move forward with the success, right? This cornucopia is now yours. This could be things like apathy, stress, um, ruminating thoughts, something like that. But you've actually put that down because you can see here in the center here, they've closed their ears. It looks like their eyes are closed as well, following your intuition, your internal thought processes right? Your internal feeling process is more like, right? And it's leading you forward. This heart energy, again, this watery energy, this is Cancerian energy. But how in this balance here, Pisces energy relates to the high priestess, Boaz and Yak in either side. And that's what we can see here. Just in this card, it's a slightly different form with Hermes driving the chariot. Oh, well, Hermes is on the chariot. The universe here that is the chariot. You can see here with the stars at the top, also present within some high priestess cards. Right? Whatever this higher knowledge is, you had to receive it by going within in some way and perhaps finding a different meditation or not listening to others in a sense. Like we learn from people with more experience, but you still have to flow with your own life's journey. And you've worked hard at it in some way and it's yielding this result. Look at this. The pentacle you've created here is here. The universe is matching that. Look how beautiful this pentacle is. Right? You're building something that's tangible within this realm, something that will make a difference. Yeah, make a difference to others. It will help others and be there for all to see. You've been prudent with this process here. And whatever it was, you know, you're coming out of this. You may have had a um, some sort of spiritual awakening, like a dark night of the soul, but you're coming out of that now. Because instead of having all of these other swords, you have your own sword, your own truth, your own light. You wear your own crown there, Pisces. And indeed, Pisces at the end of the wheel. Some might say that Pisces are there because they have, in their ancestral line, learned the lessons of all of the other signs. And so they coalesce within Pisces because then the next after that on the wheel is Aries. You become a leader again. And so the wheel goes back around. Very connected to Aries here, your own forward force, a free thinker. That's what your intuition is there for. Over the next seven days, I'd say it's something that looks more like whatever you're trying to bring about in this realm is happening. But carry on following your truth, right? Don't listen to naysayers. Don't listen to haters. Don't listen to the crowd. Follow what you want to do, right? Because it's in your highest good. You are being guided by the universe after all with two aces here. The first reading I've done today that has two aces. Good for you, Pisces. Really good for you. Follow your heart, you know? And it's yielding this result. This can also be seen as a twin flame or soulmate card. So if that's coming in for you, congratulations. You can also speak about a career change or advancement in career, perhaps promotion or something like that. So again, congratulations if that's what's happening for you. It could also be something that you're working towards with this page energy. You know, it could be you're working towards the night energy. So this could be a planning phase and, and trying to feel out the situation in some way. Yeah, good for you, Pisces. 
let's get a unicorn card. Light. See the light within yourself and in everyone else. Practice. The best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. Indeed, certainly within this energy, you know, it's growth and development. And one more. Worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. Let's get a Namaste card. The blessing of endless possibility. Allow your inner child to be the master for a while and don't take things too seriously. Have fun and explore the world of endless possibility. Something wonderful is created through imagination and innocence. Well, Pisces, that's one of the best readings I've done today. You know what, Pisces, I'm going to end up the reading there because that's actually a beautiful message for you. If you have enjoyed this reading and you would like to have a personal reading with me, they are available at the moment, and I've put the details, my contact details in the description box below, as well as the website. Please feel free to reach out, and if you would consider subscribing, it does help the channel to grow and helps to reach more people in the collective. Thank you for joining me here, Pisces, and over the next seven days and beyond, please take care of yourself.